Dear ones. I am Archangel Michael. Today we will not have questions and answers. No, no, I didn't get tired of answering, quite the opposite, I just need to clarify some points of what I said yesterday. I noticed it caused quite a stir, caused a lot of doubt, I would even say a lot of indignation. My brothers, don't try to live everything as if it were a big puzzle, in which all the pieces have to fit together. Life often undoes some paths and shows others. If you limit yourself to only those puzzle positions, you are limiting your lives, not allowing anything new to appear. So I tell you this, mix the pieces every day, as a new challenge may arise from that action of mixing the pieces. It's as if you created a new puzzle. Don't try to be, or demand, perfection. Only our Father or Mother God is perfect. You here in this third dimensional environment are totally imperfect. Ah, but we are moving towards being perfect in the fifth dimension. Who said you will be perfect in the fifth dimension? My brothers, that's what I've always said, you still have a lot to learn. You still have a completely third party mentality. Doesn't the fact that you go to the fifth dimension mean that you will become perfect? It does not mean that you will be fawned over by the entire universe for what you have done. Yes, you are going through a very delicate experience, in which many are betting that you will not succeed, but we know you will. Then there are other worlds, which vibrate exactly the same as this planet, and which are watching to see if what you are doing will work or not. But this does not mean that you become perfect and better than anyone else. You chose to descend to duality, to this dimension, to experience new feelings, as it was becoming boring to only have good feelings. So here you are. Then I ask each one of you a question, one day your souls decided to participate in this duality, in these feelings, will this never happen again? Or will it be that deep down you will rise, but that day will come when you will find it monotonous and you will want to live it all over again? But will this be possible? Of course yes, if it was possible one day, because it won't be possible again. It's always possible. Everything is possible. So my brothers, stop trying to make everything fit perfectly, because this perfect fit of pieces limits you, limits, and brings that feeling of pride, see, I completed the missing piece, as if this were a great feat. Why am I saying all this? Yesterday I commented that many of you are clinging to things from the past, reliving, commenting, showing yourself and others that the brand still exists that the hurt still exists. So what did I say? Forgive the past, forgive everything that is left behind, do the forgiveness procedure. Okay, that was enough for a barrage of questions, of determinations, because many determined what had to be done, because I had finished, but I didn't say I renewed it. As far as I remember, I don't need to ask anyone for permission to do what I have to do. I don't remember giving you this authorization, of charging me anything. If I said yesterday that you could do the forgiveness procedure, there is no point in questioning it, there is nothing to discuss. If I had said it was finished, how can I order it to be done again? I'm not asking anyone to do anything. I'm just guiding. Yes, this procedure was a few months ago, and had a lot of repercussions for those who underwent it. So when I say, do it again. I had already said at the time that anyone who wanted could do it as many times as they wanted. Ah, but for those who are entering now, this procedure was not foreseen. Correct. I'm putting it on now. So you don't have to question, if something that was closed, I'm coming back. I return whatever I want. So my brothers, I already told you this, I'll repeat it, everything I do has something behind it. I don't do it here like you do, ah, today I woke up wanting to eat something, go there and eat. So in the same way I would say, ah, today I feel like creating a new procedure and I go there and create it. This is no joke. I'm not playing with anyone here. I know exactly what I'm doing, and how I'm doing it. You think yourselves are very intelligent, very perceptive, you understand everything, you know everything. Look. I'm sorry to tell you that you don't know anything. So when I say something, 
whoever resonated with what I talked about didn't argue, they just tried to find out and will do it. Now arguing about whether something that was closed is coming back or not, you are questioning what I am talking about. So is that feeling you guys are resonating with? That's right. Is this how you are finding yourselves very evolved with fifth dimensional frequencies? If you had any questions, ask or wait for the next video. I already told you that I see what is going on in each of your hearts. So, for sure, if I caused doubts, I would speak up today. You should already know that. It's not about arguing, it's not about complaining. It's not about judging whether so and so didn't do it or so and so did it wrong. I am seeing each one of you, and be sure that I will still do a lot to scramble your minds, as this is the lesson. This is the piece you have to put in place, it is the certainty that if you have doubts, ask me to explain, do not judge, do not criticize, don't go around saying things you don't know. So yes. Anyone who hasn't had the procedure yet should do it the way everyone who has done it has done it. It's not doing it nicely, it's doing exactly as everyone else, as some who have been here since the beginning have done. Because if you do it too carefully, it won't do any good. Because the feelings will remain there. So, my brothers, don't think that I'm confused, that I don't know what I'm doing, that one minute I say one thing and another moment I say another. Yes, if I decide tomorrow to do some things again that were already done at the beginning, I will do it. Are you the ones who are going to criticize me? Are you the ones who will judge what I'm doing? I don't think so. So it seems like you are children playing in the yard, where there always has to be an adult catching your attention. You can't go long without doing something stupid. You can't walk properly. So my brothers, what I do, or don't do, is based on what I think is right, not what you think is right. So learn to walk learn that new puzzles may appear every day, new ways. That I can simply arrive tomorrow and tell you, the attachment procedure is over, whoever did it, did it, whoever didn't do it, didn't do it. Wow, the world would collapse, because the vast majority who didn't do it would feel harmed. I confess that I am right, but if I decided that, it would be decided. Some other way I would give it to those who didn't do it. Be sure of that. So my brothers, don't take everything literally. Detours will happen along the way, just to see how far you are prepared to deviate, how prepared you are for surprises, for unscheduled things. So this is what I have to say today. Anyone who has already done the forgiveness procedure, do it again if you think it is necessary if you think you still have things to forgive. Remember what I said, that if you have no one to forgive, forgive yourself, because your soul has done many things against yourself, yourself, and you have already done a lot of things against yourself in this incarnation. So just put your name and ask for forgiveness. Ready. Now those who haven't done the procedure will do it exactly as it is there. First with the blood list will ask for forgiveness exactly as it is in the videos, I'm not going to stay here repeating it. Everything has already been published, just follow along. Then you ask forgiveness from those you know and then from yourself, just like the others did. As many times as you want. So that's it my brothers. Let's learn to play in the yard, without having to have an adult nearby, attracting attention. You are not such children. I think I can leave you alone to play, without you pushing your partner, without you pulling another friend's hair, without you breaking anything. Grow up. Are you bragging that you are vibrating in the fifth dimension? I have my doubts, because this behavior is not fifth dimensional, it's very tercera behavior. So learn to play in the courtyard, play games that elevate you, not that imprison you here in the third dimension. I am Archangel Michael. I'm always here. My love for you is unwavering. And exactly because I want each of you to be your best, I treat you this way, so that you understand where you need to improve.